Robin, Robin, wake up. No, thank you. Robin, you gotta get up. No, you have to get up. It's my day off, and I have to do absolutely nothing that isn't Borderlands 2 and sleep. Robin, it's Question Friday. Is it now? What type of store is the most dangerous to have within walking distance? I would say, um... Bomb store? Probably a bomb store. Yeah, that would be pretty dangerous to have in the area. If not a bomb store, then probably a bookstore, because I'm the worst for that. I'll go in and be like, I'm just gonna look, and then I come out with like, nine books. Does it really take one to know one? I don't think so, but I know that bear, and I'm not one. How do you feel about The Hobbit being made into three movies, which means Lord of the Rings will be told in six parts? Well, technically Lord of the Rings was already told in six parts, because if you look at the original printed books, each book is two smaller books that they squished together. He originally wanted it in six instead of three. So technically that means Lord of the Rings is told in nine, but The Hobbit's a prequel, so I don't know if it even really counts to that. It's just the same universe. Um, because it's a different, it's got its own story arc, which is good. Um, I have nothing against dividing it into the smaller movies. I mean, they removed almost two hours of footage from the extended cut of Lord of the Rings, and it makes a world of difference. So in rea reality, they probably should have extended those ones to at least four movies and, you know, taken their time instead of, you know, doing an extended release that is, like, two months longer. Um, that said... I don't know if The Hobbit will actually hold up in that long form because it's shorter, well, it's it's about the same length as one of the half books of Lord of the Rings. So I don't know if it itself can hold the same length of time as the entire trilogy does, but I'm excited for it. Martin Freeman's brilliant and Peter Jackson has not let us down as of yet. And I really love this story. So if nothing else, I'm going to go into it really excited. Um, it might suck. I doubt it, but it could. But I'm probably still going to love it, just because I love that book, and I love everything to do with it, and I read it like a billion times as a kid, and so I, I think it'll be good. I, I don't really mind. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? That's a weird question, because it, it means I have to qualify whether it was weird for me or weird for people. Um, I think weird overall was a candle. I was, like, 12 at a birthday party. I ate a candle. There's not a lot of story there. Um, whereas, for me, I think the weirdest thing I ate was probably kangaroo, which was in Florida? North Carolina. Some family vacation state that I went to one time. And that was good. It was spicy and delicious. But it reminded me a lot of elk. Um, but now I might just be naming other weird things that I've eaten, like moose. Which is delicious. Weirdly spicy, um, but yeah, no, like, like, I, I it was, it was odd for me because I was like, hey, this is delicious, and from a continent which I have not set foot on, so that was cool. I don't, I don't know that it was overly weird, but I, I thought it stood out for me. Um, but yeah, I guess technically a candle, if not, then a kangaroo. That's it for this week. I hope I answered your questions. If not, please post a comment below and I will get to it next month, which is October, usually after September. Um, so yeah, that should be good. Other than that, I've got some very excited bowtie related news next week and possibly some Ask Carpenter because he's in town. I'm going to go see him. Say hi. Oh, and please don't forget to follow and subscribe and other verbs for continue to listen to me talk on various social media outlets. Um, we're almost at 9% for the subscription challenge, which is daunting and exciting, because you guys are awesome. So, show me your mental picture for us on that one, and yeah. If we time this right, we'll be there right in time for Halloween, so that should be, like, doubly fun. So, yeah, have a good week. What type of store is the most... No.